almost beat the bus, but nah. Because of this ball, he saved me money and time. Hassa, hassa. <laughs> hey, I only do this for the camera. <laughs> what did you say? What did he say? We are such easy such kids, but this is the freaking snow. 16 footer, so you just go shy of it. You can build a foundation. You can build anything. That's the square of the house. Got the square. Everybody has a task, and if everybody's executing, it goes really quick. Come over, come over. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tree. Come on, start, amigo. <laughs> Not me. Here we are at Paiute or Piute. I'm not sure how to say this. Street name. That's good. Yeah. That's the square of the house. Got the square. It's time now, to go home. <laughs> you do like uh what is it, three feet, four feet, and then need to meet at five feet or no? No, that's that that rules if you want to like quickly check something. Oh okay. This is like we're taking actual the overall length of the house. Same concept though, just bigger numbers. Okay. So let's just start. Let's just uh, do all the stakes that we have. Hit them all in on this right here. Which side of the line do the stakes go? This one. This side. This is the house wall already. So the board's gonna be inch and a half behind it, uh -huh. and then three quarter inch stake. Okay. Come on, start, amigo. So you guys, you guys work Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, whole day. I work Saturday and the Sunday and dug it out. Yes. Yeah. With Sava and uh, Eddie. Yeah. Three of us. This is what we got. Got the faces, right? Look at this, guys. Come over here, man. Look at this. You saw it drop? What? This is the freaking snow. Snow. Tomorrow we have inspection. Underground utilities connection. We have two different building comes. Uh, building department and the city, okay? We got a pass inspection, we got a barrier, and, and we are starting put the forms. This Friday, this Friday, we are planning to pour this house. So we have Paul here from North Cal Siding and Decking. He's from Carmichael, and today he's in South Lake Tahoe working on this home. So it looks like you have the Tyvek, right? Yes, Tyvek, we started siding. And do you want to tell me why you start with the pieces here, the small pieces. Well, I always have to start from the bottom, then we go up. But you cut them shorter so that it looks nicer up there with larger yes. materials. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. I do this 20 years. 20 years? Yes. So that's... Uh, 22 actually. 22 years. That's a lot of experience. Yes. I see you're being very precise with these stakes, yeah? Yep. The exact measurement of how thick the board is. Now you go the size of the board. 16 footer, so you just go shy of it. So you step out a couple of feet where the boards connect? Yeah, the, there will be a splice there so that I don't have to put an upright there, but next one will be right around here. How long have you been doing this? Six months. Oh yeah? Was yeah. it fun? Yeah, it's good uh it's a good experience. Well you learn a lot. If you can build a foundation, you can build anything. Nice. That's what they say. Cedar looks in the 3G, okay? 
This is how it's looped in a grill. Okay. Left and right, and also as well, back of the house, we're using T111. T111, 12 in the center. For this specifically model, it can be work very well. Usually I'm using a four in the center. It's more modern. Steaks that you're putting in right now, do they have a name? They're called uprights. Uprights? Yeah. And then you put in kickers basically to prevent the boards from kicking out. So. Okay. Those are the ones that go like. Yeah, so at a slant. Those are kickers, yeah? Yep. They're like soldiers. If you look down the line, <laughs> like little Whoa. soldiers. So basically, so basically, what's happening right now is. I'm going through, because this is a slab, everybody has a task, and if everybody's executing, it goes really quick. So I'm hitting in all the uprights right now. John over there is pre-cutting all the uprights, all the kickers, so that way they're all ready to go because we don't have uh, fabricated ones, so we're just using two by fours and ripping them up. Serge over there with David, they already started throwing up the board. Are it's you thinking uh, you're going to get the perimeter done today? I hope so. The guys <laughs> kind of want to go to relax. I was like, guys, let's go. It's, only uh, two days. it's already 5 o'clock. Did you guys start late or you just work late? We just work late. So I know we have that deadline, right? October 15 or whatever. Yeah. So we got to... No. That's crazy. We got to work. By the way, come over, come over. Explain it. This is what he said in the video. I hope next time I'll do it. Normally Serge welds this, solders this together with the copper. I'm hoping the next house I'll just do it myself. And that'll be my first one. This is number seven house and he did it. This is his first, right? Yeah. So, how is easy? Yeah. Proximal colon is taking you. Maybe an hour? Hour. So it's good fit. I must beat the bus, but nah, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, this is ready. This is good. So yeah, because he's in a vlog uh, 14 today, the vlog. Yeah, yeah. He said, man, I hope I'll do it. Always learning new stuff doing general construction. Good job, my son. <laughs> we got a gun, though. You spraying me. That was good shower. I was like, this is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna have to figure it out. What does that spray do? We'll put just cover it up, put base, uh, we'll put some full mix. Go, 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 go. I had to buy new pipe wrenches to even wrench this on there. This is the shot off to the house. I see the cracking. Yep, yep. Keep going, keep going. He's just watching right now, make sure we are all good. Our goal, not losing the pressure. Looking good? Looking good. Awesome. Look at this, this guy's using the I-beam the metal beam to level out. Yeah. Отлично. Чуть -чуть. A little bit. When I'll be ready before October 15, I'll be dancing Les Ginka. Hassa! Hassa! <laughs> you know how to do that dance? Or American dance. <laughs> smoothly, smoothly. It's very important, believe me or not. I don't want a red tag, you know? Yeah. In my property. So, <clears throat> so you can see it right now. We are doing tie back wrapping. Same time we are doing siding but no windows. First time in my life, first time in my life I'm doing this way. It's pen and ass, but what I can do? What I can do? All suppliers, you know, the situation in America right now, the whole world with COVID, okay? And plus we have the fire. Evacuation area, please leave immediately. Fire comes here, it's all gonna burn down. Who knows, it's an uncertain future. Oh my goodness. Very, like a couple weeks ago, everything backing up. Anyway, so the windows, it's 15 weeks delayed. 
So we gotta do it siding and we'll install window later with a Z bar and we'll put the uh, flashing. I mean, flashing we are doing right now, we'll put the trim. All right, hold on. Are you able to put a splice at the end of this board? Yeah. I thought it wants to go up a little bit. Just check on your side one more time. Get the two sides. Sometimes these boards have a like a crown in them. Like the middle sometimes can you know be a, an eighth or something off, but it's kind of already it is what it is because you can't always have perfect boards, but when you get them, it's nice. <laughs> so you just make sure this end and that end are perfectly level. Then you just go ahead and you start hitting in the kickers to hold it from going left to right. So when you're pouring concrete, all the pressure is coming on these. So these guys will hold them in place. We make these kickers strong like bull. So after this siding, we can start installing the uh, deck and balcony. You see, we put the Z bar, it's ready to go. This is 220 for future, uh, for jacuzzi or whatever, you can use it. As well, we provide the uh, fire pit gas line as well. Today, we uh, poured concrete at one of the other foundations that we started last week. Got that one all poured. We left one of our guys there. He's finishing it out, trailing it out. Uh, then we came back over here. We started this one yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just gonna finish this one. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna finish this one up, uh, get it all inspected. <laughs> uh, hey, I only do this for the camera. I actually don't do this in real life. <laughs> we're gonna finish this one up and then get this one inspected and poured on Friday. So you're putting in one side of the frame then you're doing the rebar, and then you're putting in the other side of the frame. Yeah, just for the garage, because this is going to be a stem wall for the garage, and then everything else over there is going to be a slab. So we only need one side here that's going to be double formed. So. Okay, that's what you call it, double form. Double forming, yep. Diamonds? No, amber is a small tree that takes root. No. And it lives 50 thousand years under the earth, under the pressure of the rain, and all this turns into a yantar. That thing he just dug up right there, he said it's 50,000 years old. Залезь сюда еще. Все. That's it. That's it. What do you want the panel? That way? Panel? So that way. That way. This way? Front. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. But they put the all holes that way. Or uh, corner.
plants and make sure we are following by the plants because some walls we have or corners we have sheer wall so we gotta edit more nails and specifically we gotta find the uh, schedule of the nails sometimes it's three or four and 12 in the center okay the driveway is done it's good news nobody can stop us right now we'll spray out the dirt and we're good to go we put some boulders for decoration we find it from another job and here look at this this boulder believe me or not it's not suitable it's like half cut it's right here it's half, half cut so i find this boulder and i'm used specifically in this corner because if you see it i have so much dropping so i gotta do like retainer wall or something right now i don't have to do nothing because of this boulder he saved me money and time you should go interview serge yeah, serge has a lot of jokes i always tell him if in a different life he'd be a comedian what did you say what did he say what did he say? Should <laughs> <laughs> uh, I start interviewing him? Serge, did you have lunch yet? He doesn't eat lunch. <laughs> we have just dinner. We have a post dinner. We have a post dinner. This is gorgeous tree. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tree. We decided to uh, put our boxes there. It's a little bit long uh, run, mm -hmm. but to save this tree, I don't want to give the tree paint. So for me, okay, more pipes, more timing to dig it out. Heck yeah, let's do it over there. That's all. Cool. Because we let's keep the tree more alive, you know? Yeah. It's a beautiful tree. Respect for na na uh, nature. Nature. Yeah. nature. It's a beautiful tree. By the way, this house, it's not raised foundation. This is house, it's slab. Really? So it's going to be fully concrete. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Look at the snow. It's interesting. It looks like, it looks like styrofoam. Right? little balls but it's not it's snow see it's melting this is not styrofoam it's snow but it looks like styrofoam interesting how it forms like that perfect little snowballs you can make out of this very nice Where'd you go during the evacuation? Evacuation area. Please leave immediately. Okay, go, 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 go. That's not good. Are you evacuating on foot? Where'd you go during the evacuation? Uh, Roseville. Roseville? You live over there or where do you live? Uh, I live here. Uh, I used to live in Roseville. Oh, really? No, no. Nice. I live in Roseville too. Yeah. yeah, I love going to the fountains. That's a Slav Central. That's where all Russians go. Slav Central. Beautiful. What do they do? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> These are called form ties. So they prevent the concrete from blowing out the boards. I know. Huh? You know, know this, this. I'm just asking for the camera. Hey, bro. I, I was trying so hard to explain it to you. 